Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say thank you for 800 subscribers. A little milestone reached. I was super happy when I reached 800. I think I'm at like 810 now, but thank you. So yeah, I reached 800. So cool, thank you. Can't wait to get to a thousand. Can't wait to get that monetization. But anyways, moving forward, I'm like really excited about today's video because this is something that hasn't been done on my channel yet. Um, despite all of my hair train wrecks and everything like that, I haven't gone from full red to blonde, which is what we're trying to do in this video and I don't really know how it's going to go yet, but I have this three-step plan and yeah, we're going to try and do a transformation. So if you're interested, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first step of my plan is to color remove. I'm going to use color oops. I have it right here. I think I got this at Dollar General. They have it like everywhere, Rite Aid, Walmart. So I grabbed some color oops. I did use this once before. I'll link the video below. If I can remember correctly, there was like a good amount of product in here. So I only got one box. Last time that I touched up my red, I had used Lime Crime Unicorn Hair in the shade Valentine. As you can see, the ends are very much lightening. It's almost kind of like a peachy color. And actually, I forgot to tell you guys, um, last night I had my mom trim my ends because she's good at that. I had not cut my hair or trimmed it since literally since I shaved it like a year and a half or so ago. I'll link that video below as well. I did get my ends freshened up. You can see they look nice. They're not like super split and damaged or anything. And it's been a while since I had actually bleached my hair, I believe November. And then in December, I toned it. But all these videos are available on my channel. If you wanna just subscribe and binge watch me, you can do that. But I just smushed this box in between my thighs for no reason. Step one to this process is going to be color removal. And then moving forward, I have this bag of stuff from Sally's and um, we'll get to that bridge when we cross it but let's start color removing and getting as much red out as possible so yes I do have kind of light blonde and golden blonde underneath and I just want to get the red out and enhance the blonde let's go and real quick guys here is the official before shot So real quick, the Color Oops kit comes with gloves, color remover, and dissolvent. It's super simple. You pretty much just mix these two together, and you're ready to go. And I will update you on how long you're supposed to leave it in, because I forget. So yeah, this is just a clear formula. I feel like this time it's more runny than last time. I feel like last time it was more gel-like. I don't really remember that well though, but but yeah, it's seeming like I'm almost running out. So this is kind of like May Day. Okay guys, so thank goodness I was actually able to kind of cover the majority of my head. Okay, so we did all right with coverage.
And now we're gonna wait 20 minutes. All right, so we have a lot of splotchy red spots, but this is just the first part. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse. So I'm gonna show you guys everything I got from Sally's, starting with this large, um, kind of thick big tooth comb so I've learned that you know you're not supposed to really brush your hair after it's been processed okay this kind of hurts but I think it is better than brushing it so and then I'm also got this for my daughter's hair because she has really thick hair as well and we have a hard time brushing and getting nuts out so first and foremost I got a large 32 ounce volume 40 developer from Wella. Um, if you guys remember in my last, one of my last videos, one of my previous videos from like the last month, I was bleaching my roots and one of my big issues was I had run out of developer at the end. I was not playing. I went with the biggest one in the house. So we're not going to be, developer will not be an issue this time. Okay, so for the lightening, because I am going to be bleaching, the next two steps are going to be bleach and then tone because I would like to get it lighter, obviously, like you, and I have roots. But yeah, so I have a decent amount of shimmer lights, light in our left, so that's amazing. For toning, we're doing Willa T18, which I've seen some conspiracy about this online that it doesn't really last, but I've always really liked the initial outcome, so Willa T18 it is. I got two in case. And the last thing I want to show you guys is this hair mask I got. So I got this, um, this was in my video from December where I toned. Um, the Sally's employee actually like talked me into getting a single, single serve little <laughs> packet of this hair mask called Sauce. And I was kind of irritated at first because I felt like she like made me get it but I ended up loving it. My hair was so soft after using it. And so this time I thought I'm gonna go get a few of them and I ended up just getting the whole container. This is 12 ounces and this is an amazing hair mask. So after I bleach, I am going to use this and then hopefully my hair survives. All right guys, here is the fully dried result. I have to say it really did really lift the red so I can't be mad at it but just an FYI that color oops does kind of smell like eggs and you can continue to smell it like even after the rinsing so that's part of the reason why I am inspired to move forward do bleach and then my really cool mask all right let's do this This is 
the train wreck is always. Making my third round of product. This is like so nerve wracking right now. This, I'm not in a good mental state right now. I'm just kind of scared that like I use too much developer and it's 40 and that I will have to shave my head again. So this was a 20 minute, this was a 20 minute application process so now I have like no idea how long I'm supposed to leave it in now that I finished the application process because this stuff has already been processing. Okay, my head is literally burning, like burning, burning. I have to rinse this, like it's an emergency. Don't. Here we are the next day. So I did use my sauce mask. And it definitely helped. So when I got in the shower yesterday, like a bitch was scared. My head was burning. That just didn't really go well. It wasn't well enough planned out. Um, it's like that Tic Tac song where it's like, how many of you were scared? I was really scared. <laughs> um, but I managed to rinse everything out with minimal hair loss, like for real. And then I put the mask on, which really helps soothe my scalp. Like it's completely... And I probably could even could have left it on longer. And then afterwards, all I did was kind of comb with my big tooth comb. And here we are today. So this is, uh, I did really miss some spots. Like, okay, it's kind of bad right back here. And so I'm going to use what, what little bit of shimmer lights I have left to try and touch up problem areas. I'm gonna try and make this go as far as it can and go over a few spots again. So I had left that in for 20 minutes, rinse. Some of these red patches are like not going anywhere. Um, but anyway, I just cannot wait to use my Wella T18. I literally can't wait. All right guys, we're still on day number two and it's time for the final step. So I have two boxes of T18, but we're, we're starting with one. guys I'm pretty saturated right now and I forget how long you're supposed to leave this all right you can let it develop for up to 30 minutes so I will be back oh, fucking. I'm a little over 15 minutes and I am really ready to rinse so this time guys with the sauce mask I'm leaving it on I'm getting out of the shower I'm gonna leave it on for like 15 minutes and then come back and rinse. I'm back with the final result okay um not too shabby i'm actually like really in love with the shade of blonde this is after lightening and toning um don't be fooled though 
you know, it's not all perfect. We definitely have some red patches towards the root. And there's even a spot back there that is still like brown that I freaking kept missing. I don't know. <laughs> On the outside looking in, it looks really beautiful and like, like mad pretty <laughs> or whatever. Hi. So I've been working on like my final look all day on and off and I have like a sunset moment right now. I freaking love the natural sunlight and um, yeah, but like, okay, so here's a better look. So honestly, I can't even complain. Like, doing this stuff is a pain in the ass, but at the same time, like, when you get, when you start to get somewhere, it feels really good. I'm not, like, mad at this. So let me know what you guys think. Please don't troll too hard because I know I'm not a professional and I be just doing the most sometimes. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you again for 800 subscribers. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.